Veteran Salute, sponsored by Devon James Injury Lawyers. It's now time for our weekly segment, Veteran Salute. It's our chance to honor heroes in this area and to thank them for their service. And tonight, 27 News reporter Matthew Johnstone introduces us to U.S. Air Force veteran Thomas Miller. Over the course of his 30 years of service, Thomas Miller held a variety of positions related to aircraft maintenance and daily operations. With his decades-long career, Tom pushed for evolving the way Air Force testing is conducted. Going directly into the Air Force after high school, military service was a family affair. I went in rather young. Uh, my two older brothers both served in the Air Force, and uh, so their experience and you know, it started my desire to serve in the military. After returning stateside from his travels abroad, Tom found himself at the Edwards Air Force Base, where he spent nearly a decade on creating and testing new systems. Two major programs that I was involved in. One was the original development of the cruise missile uh, program, and the other was the modernization of the B-52 aircraft. Uh, working those two programs uh, and working in the test environment uh, really was very fulfilling. Working at the quintessential testing facility for the Air Force and pushing forward on major advancements meant a lot to Tom. All of the Air Force's major aircraft developments were tested out of Edwards. And so uh, there was just a lot of uh, great activities that were going on there. With his years of experience on the maintenance end, Tom was able to bring a unique perspective to the table, pushing for a forward-thinking philosophy on aircraft maintenance and testing. My work in the Air Force over the years had involved fixing airplanes and doing various jobs that uh, contributed to aircraft maintenance. And so I'd formed some ideas of what I thought maintenance people should have in the way of tools to do their jobs and to do them better. His concept brought pilots, flight crew members, plus maintenance and repair teams together for a collaboration that hadn't been done before, making procedures and equipment safer and more efficient for everyone involved. It's one thing to fly an airplane. It's a, entirely another thing to get that airplane ready to fly and getting it ready to fly and fixing it whenever it gets back from a flight. For Tom, helping others, either in the community or in the military, and you do it in such a way that you help them achieve the things that are important to them in their daily lives. In the military, uh, uh, military service means making sure that that mission is carried out. Even in retirement, Tom continues to stay active and serve others, volunteering for his local church and helping community programs succeed. Working for you, Matthew Johnstone, 27 News. Now, we are highlighting veterans in our community every week, just like Tom. So if you'd like to nominate someone for our Veteran Salute segment, be sure to go to KSNT.com. That's all you've got to do. And while you're there, you can click on this story for a lot more information. And every time we do this, the Honor Veteran receives a gift. Take a look. On behalf of Devon James Injury Lawyers, we're honored to recognize this week's veteran, 30-year Air Force veteran Thomas Miller. Chief, thank you so much for your service. Well, thank you. It's honored to serve. We're excited to present you this check for $500. Thank you very much. Yes, sir.